While a better choice of capturing output of your program would to be choose a logging library such as Commons Logging or Log4j, you might be running a local Java example where you want a lightweight solution. Many developers turn to writing output to the console using system.out.println. With the introduction of streams in Java 8, let's find out how to print the contents of a stream to the console. Two concepts to understand before we dive into code is method references and lambdas. Method references is a shorthand way to call a method directly, which allows you to reuse existing method definitions. It is often a cleaner approach to refer to the existing method by name versus creating a Lambda expression. The Oracle Java Tutorials explains the kind of method references. In our snippet, we will reference the static import print line we will call containing class colon colon static method. Lambdas, introduced in Java 8, provides a clean and concise way to call a method while eliminating anonymous inner functions. In the wild, they can typically be written like int x comma int y arrow token x plus y. Generating a Java project from a Maven archetype, we will update the project to Java 8 and then add the dependencies of JUnit. First, we need to create a stream by using stream utility stream of, which will create a sequential order stream of strings. Next, calling a for each, a terminal stream operation, we will pass in system.out colon colon print line, which will loop over the elements and print the value. You can consider this a shorthand way of looping over the elements in an array list. Let's run our test and see the result. Using another type of stream, in stream, we will use the same technique we just showed of creating a stream. Instead of a method reference, we will use a lambda expression which reads, pass each element of the stream to the system.out.print line. Let's run our test again to see the result. You can see using the lambda expression gives you more flexibility, especially if you want to append or change the element you are outputting. For instance, let's say we loop over the elements and we want to add one to each of the numbers. We can do this by using the lambda, calling the system.out, and adding one to each element. Let's run the test to see the result. We hope this tutorial showed you a few different ways to use a for each to loop over and print the elements of a stream. Thanks for joining in today's level up. Have a great day.